So you want to catch Surgeon? Of course you do, they're worth 10,000 bells each. There's an exploit that spawns heaps of them. How many is heaps many? This many. Oh, looks like I caught an odd number. There are two methods of doing this. The normal method, which spawns one sturgeon at a time, and the global wobble method, which spawns up to three. Why is it called the global wobble method? There's literally no reason, I just wanted to give it a funny name. Anyway, the two methods are almost identical. Both require you to buy a Nook Miles ticket and go to a random island. Sturgeon spawn more frequently there. Find where the river meets the ocean. This is called the river's mouth, which is weird since the river doesn't start here, it flows down from higher ground, which technically makes this the river's butt. Climb up to the second level and scare away all the fish upstream and in any ponds. Make sure the river's mouth is off screen. I'll explain why later. Go back down and there should be a size 6 shadow belonging to a sturgeon. This works because fish only spawn off screen, and the game will spawn more whenever there's a shortage of them. Meaning, by scaring away all of the fish in one area, you force the game to spawn more in another, one to the left or right of the screen, which in this case, is the river's mouth, the only place sturgeon can spawn. Some tutorials will tell you to scare away the fish on the third level too, but I think it's a waste of time. As long as there's only one to two up there, you should still get sturgeon. But I know what you're thinking. That only spawns one sturgeon. What about this global wobble method? Well, I was experimenting with the first method when I climbed down the front of the cliff instead of the side. No reason really, I just did. And when I got to the mouth, three massive fish spawned but I only managed to catch one, meaning I couldn't prove the others were sturgeon. So I did it again, and three appeared once more. Only problem is, catching a fish scares away any others nearby, and trying to keep three different fish separated from each other is really difficult, so I could still only prove that two of them were sturgeon. Meaning, this method works twice as fast as the other, all because of a ladder. As far as I can tell, that's the only thing that's different, unless approaching the mouth from the bottom of the screen instead of the side does something. I don't know how this works. And I don't care. On just that first day of experimenting, I spawned 0.8 sturgeon per attempt with the normal method. But with my method, the global wobble method, I spawned 1.7, just over twice as many. But I wasn't totally convinced, so I tried it again on a different island and forcibly spawned 10 times with both methods. The normal way spawned 0.7 on average, but with the global wobble method, I spawned 1.4. The numbers are slightly off since I could only count the fish I caught, but it still came to twice as many spawns as the normal way, which matches the previous data, so I'm not too concerned. I also timed how long it took to perform the 10 attempts, and it was quicker to use the global wobble method, meaning you can fill one row of your inventory space in about eight minutes. So enjoy selling those sturgeon off like crazy. Or if you're like me, feel incredibly guilty about what you've done and throw them all into the sea. Seriously, I released all of them. If you try this, let me know if it works. Who knows, maybe it only happened because of a glitch in my version of the game. Or it can only happen on a small number of islands and I just got lucky. It wouldn't surprise me seeing as neither method will work if the island doesn't have a cliff directly to the left or right of the mouth. So try it on an island that looks as close to this one as possible. Also, even though sturgeon spawn all day and night, they're only available from March to September in the Southern Hemisphere and September to March in the Northern. And if you're watching this, Nintendo, it wasn't me! Someone else made this video, I just stole it! You can't prove anything! I have my rights as an Australian citizen, as you cannot-